What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, I'll be doing a mashup of the DC Comics characters as well as the Looney Tunes characters. Now, I did a Marvel one recently that was kind of me speculating who would be who. And then a user named Cowboy Customs over on Instagram made this Daffy Duck. So I posted that on YouTube and said, hey, you know, who else should I make? Just having some fun. And user Jason Solano here on YouTube said I should make Super Bunny. And after looking up that that's an actual character, I found out that there have actually been a couple DC crossovers over the years with the Looney Tunes. So I'm going to break everything down here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. So up first, we have Green Loontern, who, of course, is Daffy Duck with Green Lantern. I did a video on him on his own already, but I figured I'd just get him out of the way first. So the head comes from Daffy Duck from the Lego Looney Tunes collectible minifigure series. The arms and legs come from Syndrome from the Lego DC collectible minifigure series. Then the torso and hips come from the original Green Lantern from the Lego DC sets with the Green Lantern ring from the Lego DC collectible minifigure series. Up next, we have Super Bunny, who is a real character. This has been a character that's been used in some Looney Tunes crossovers over the years. And to give him the cartoonized look, I used the torso from the Superman from the Lego DC Mighty Micros line. I felt that that looked nice and Looney Tune-ish. I used the head and hands from Bugs Bunny with the legs from the most recent version of Spider-Man with a cape on there to round it all out. Here we have Lola Bunny as Wonder Woman, and here's a Funko Pop that has actually been made in this same design. So to get as close to that Funko design as possible, I used the arms and head from the Lego Lola Bunny with the torso and legs from Wonder Woman from the Lego DC collectible minifigure series. Once again from the Funko line, there was a Taz and Flash mashup that they did. Really good considering they're both speedsters, but unfortunately the Taz headpiece that Lego gives us covers up most of the torso, so I was kind of worried what I could use, but the Mighty Micros Flash lets you put in just a little bit of detail there that I think works really well. And last but not least, we have Sylvester the Cat, who of course is mashed up with Batman in this Funko Pop. And I felt like this torso was pretty accurate to that Batman. I think it's from around 2016, 2017 or so. He used the torso, legs, and cape from that with the head from Sylvester himself. So let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys on the next video liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO videos coming in the near future.